What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to be talking about last words. So we're jumping to the future into the 80s, not the 1980s, but the 2080s. And as we've seen with a lot of movies like this before, the world has gone to shit. We're living in a complete wasteland where our main character thinks he is the only person alive. He doesn't even have a name. He's been living in this world like this for quite some time, has been living in danger, and over the course of many years, slowly just starts to hear the noise of the world disappear. That's when he eventually ends up running into Nick Nolte's character, an old man that's living in some sort of underground compound by himself, just kind of waiting to die. And while he's down there, he's keeping himself sane by watching these various old films. He has an old projector that needs him to crank it and actually uh, use pedals like on a bike in order to power it. And he's just watching these old silent films or just old films in general. And that's just kind of what's keeping him sane. After meeting the young man that is our main character he starts to kind of have a reinvigorated energy about life the two of them then bond on film in general which is easily my favorite part of this film and they end up finding a broken or you know needing to be fixed camera that they end up taking with them on a journey to find others and use this camera to capture their world as it is right now last words is a film coming out later this week and it's coming out from gravitas ventures so a big thanks to them for sending me an early screener this movie will be released later this week on friday and uh yeah you know i'm always grateful to be able to check out something early and it's always a bummer when i don't really know how i feel about the film or if i didn't like it and in the case of last words i found it to be an incredibly well acted well shot film that has great production value the sets the locations the costume design and again the performances most notably uh, are definitely really something to talk about definitely something to enjoy about this film and I love the fact that a lot of what makes this film what it is is really about how humans can connect through film and how film can really capture the moment and capture memories and capture an experience a story and so I think that this film does a good job of definitely relaying that message and has all those positives that I just mentioned. However, after the first 20 minutes, it starts to slow down. And I think without a doubt, the biggest complaint I have about this film is that it was very boring. I really wasn't super engaged or captivated by what was going on or the characters, but it was interesting to see them kind of go through life and you know throughout the course of the movie we learn about the past in little ways this is not a movie that's interested in giving you the backstory on how the earth got to this place this is not a movie that's interested in really you know worrying about big threats that they have to deal with in this time this is more about the fact that hey this is where the world is at and these are the characters that are in it and this is just a kind of movie celebrating how a bunch of people who are part of this really broken world can come together and start to find joy and community um, with one another uh, but it does lead some, to some very strange moments ultimately i found it to be a film that definitely has some very weird moments uh, there's kind of a rape scene in this movie but the movie doesn't really treat it like rape but based on the context of the film it's pretty much rape um, but it's just a weird film set with a bunch of characters that kind of build a very strange community but with that said i really did enjoy that element of film bringing everybody together and film being a huge part of what is capturing the world around them as it is and capturing their memories that element and the element of community without a doubt was the part i enjoyed the most besides that like i mentioned the production value and all the things i mentioned before are top notch specifically the performances but overall i found this to be a really really slow boring film it's about two hours long and i honestly thought it was like three it was just one of those movies that continually pulled me to like look at my phone or look at you know the time and I tried my best to not do so I continually put my phone down anytime I'd grab it just because you know there's parts in the movie that are subtitled and I definitely wanted to be able to give this a fair review so I definitely wasn't on my phone or anything like that while I was watching it but there was that internal pool distracting me away from the movie because I just never really found myself overly compelled with what was going on another film that this kind of reminded me of that I can probably say I enjoyed this one a little bit more is a film called it comes Comes at night and it's a film that came out of a24 with a lot of big names in it and is a very well made film but it just felt uneventful to me and similar to that one this film also does feel kind of aimless and kind of uneventful there are moments where things are happening there are moments where we're hearing and learning things about the world or maybe what came before that's definitely piques your interest but ultimately I found myself rather bored with this movie and I can't really give it a recommendation nor is it really a movie that I can say I am really running to rewatch at any time however if this is something that seems intriguing to you i'm not going to say don't check it out i think there are things to praise about it all the things that i've already mentioned and one of the things to definitely mention is that there's uh, quite a bit of nudity in this film uh, which you know it's like who cares but uh yeah the nudity is you know a little bit more 
forward than uh, some other films have been. And uh, you see the backside of Nick Nolte's nuts. That'll be the only spoiler you get. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be my thoughts on Last Words. Comes out later this week. So if you guys are interested, I know it's coming out in select theaters as well as on a VOD run. So please check it out if you guys are interested. Last Words coming from Gravitas Ventures. And a big thanks once again to them for sending me an early screener. So that's going to be the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit that like button if you guys enjoyed the video. It definitely helps the channel out. And please, have you seen this movie? Have you not seen this movie? Depending on when you're watching this, you may or may not have already seen it. So I definitely want to hear what you guys have to say about this movie did you like it did you not like it did you find it to be as boring as i did or were you more compelled by the story and what was going on here definitely interested to hear what people have to say so please do leave those comments down below hit that subscribe button if you guys enjoyed the video as well or any of my other videos because uh I'm definitely not slowing down and I have a lot of fun content coming in the next year or so so a big thanks to you guys for watching and um, i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye